we're gonna go eat at a Wagyu restaurant that has robot servers. Need I say more? Before we go, like and subscribe. It's time for a field trip. All right, we are here at the Xbox Mini. It is snowing like crazy here in Chicago. I do not know what to expect inside those doors other than the fact that there are going to be robots serving us Wagyu. And frankly, that's all I need to hear. Manny, yeah. I think you better run. Oh, go. <laughs> Let's go inside. It feels itchy. Stop touching my ears. Yeah. Manny, that is oddly sexual. All right, welcome on the x -Pod. It's Lloyd. My name is Ben. Ben. Ben, B-I-M. And just like that, we witnessed our first Wagyu robot. What can he do? I will send it back to the kitchen, and they will come no. to us. As our first robot server headed to the kitchen, Ben asked to show us his new 5D room that stimulates all the senses. Touching, tasting, smelling, and eating. The room was insane. It was basically a dining room with all sorts of projectors and screens. Things flying across all the walls. It was a room of art. Manny, you see the shark? Uh-huh. Manny, pay attention. I'm paying attention. Your phone what is going on right now? And suddenly our white table turned into a cooking demo where a virtual chef made us a dish right before our eyes. <laughs> This was a brand new room they'd never used or shown anybody, meaning we were the first people to see and experience it. That's awesome. Then it was time to go meet the robot host as well as our human server. This is uh, Bella here. She's actually our host. When you touch her ears kind of like a normal cat, she either likes it or she doesn't. So she's a cat robot. Yeah, she's a cat robot. Not like a guard dog or anything. Manny, I know you have a little crush on Bella. Good evening, welcome in. Have you all had hot pot before? Once okay. in China. I got food poisoning, actually. Oh, I'll no. be totally honest. Um, so this is a little bit more elevated, right? We have our Soup is what we're known for, and our meat, all Wagyu selections. You experience the different ways of eating it, so you have your hot pot and you have your chamois and salt. Grill. Robots will also come to Yeah, they'll be, they'll be coming. Uh -huh. They ever get in your way? Yes, yeah, very much. They do? Yeah, they're really annoying sometimes. I've just about had enough of you. What's the robot's name? Pina. That's our other uh -huh. server. They all talk. This is the one on the front. That one's a name Bella. Manny yeah. loves the host Bella. Is she flirting with you? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Hey, you gotta say calm down, guys. Like, you know, I got somebody at home. First, they brought us out a few drinks, and they were pretty dang cool. Oh. This drink is called the Crazy Rich Asian. That's really good. That's my favorite so far. Some had smoke. Wow. I didn't mean to do that. And others had dry ice, and I was especially excited by the teapot drink. It smells so good. Man, put that in your nostril. If you bring any more out, he's gonna be too tipsy to actually operate the camera. Once the bartender saw my excitement around the teapot cocktail, they decided to have us order something else tea related. So we ordered something called Kung Fu Tea, and they're gonna do some Kung Fu for us when they bring out the tea. The guy doing the performance was named Tiger, and he had more skills than just about anyone I've ever met. No way. He almost stabbed that guy behind me. The tea is literally inside that thing and he's not spilling it right now. What is this, physics? Have you ever seen anything like this, Manny? I've never seen anything never like Never seen anything like it. Tiger, you are an animal. Intriguing and confusing things I think I've ever seen. If you think this is crazy, just wait till later in the video. Thank you so much. It's gotta be some of the best tea I've ever Wow. The appetizers finally began to flow out. Delivered, of course, by our trusty robot. This right here is our what? X1 king. And this was just delivered by Pina, the robot. I have no words. So we pick it up, pick it up. and we break off the head. Uh, you can pull, pull it up like this, just and like crunch. Dip some cut stuff, black stuff. Okay, so this is the first course here delivered by our robot peanut. It looks like just a piece of raw wagyu, which many we've had a wagyu a lot of times. Have we ever had a raw? I don't think we have. I don't think we have either. Holy f this shit's really good, Nick. Like honestly, I've had a lot of wagyu like with Nick, and, and that was a really good fight. All right, last video we did at Gordon Ramsay's restaurant, Marwa tried oysters for the first time. Nice. Now she's trying Wagyu for the first time. You can't work with us and not have eaten Wagyu. Okay, but this time it's raw, so I'm scared. Oh, you don't like <laughs> This one is our Wagyu tart. Oh, is it hot? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> This one right here, so it's called the Yang because of our Shida Toro caviar wasabi and the other half is our A5 Wagyu with the meat on top. This is basically a combination of the best kind of meat and then the best fish in the sea, right? Yes, is exactly. So A5 Wagyu is so high quality that you can actually enjoy raw. Mm -hmm. Man, you see that? Man, this is the main event right here. This is the Wagyu hot pot soup basis. He's uh, taking his sweet time though. Peanut is a little slow, huh? So they slow peanut down when it brings the soup basis because the soup can spill if peanut goes too fast. What's the fastest peanut can go? I don't know the numbers exactly, <laughs> but it's pretty fast. I mean, the first appetizer, they definitely- Pretty quick? Yes. If peanut and Manny were to race, <laughs> who would win? I would say peanut. Finally, it was time to get ready for the first Wagyu course. We had way more Wagyu than we could possibly finish in one sitting. That is unbelievable. 
top part is gonna be Japanese A5 Wagyu. On the bottom is gonna be our domestic. I would recommend leaving the A5 Wagyu for last. It is the best. Manny, look at this piece of Wagyu right here. We've had a lot of Wagyu in our kitchen, and this is some of the best looking stuff I've ever seen. I mean, that's just beautiful, Manny. We had so much food come with this Wagyu course that we needed not one, but two robots. We got both of them. I just wanna be clear what's happening right now. This Wagyu in front of us was delivered by this robot. And now we're using this Wagyu for hot pot. So essentially you take a piece of Wagyu, we dip it into this super flavorful broth and kind of mix it around for like six or seven seconds. And when it comes out, it's ready to eat. And it's just crazy flavorful and so, so good. I felt as if I'd fallen into some sort of Wagyu heaven. I was distracted for a moment by Tiger doing what they called a noodle dance, but it was time for more Wagyu. Out came a massive bowl filled with all different cuts of Wagyu beef. The best of the best. I was in shock. I'd never in my life seen so many different types of Wagyu. The server grilled all our meat on a hot salt rock table side. It felt like quite the throwback to when I grilled for an entire day on a pink Himalayan salt rock. Now normally I wouldn't put any sort of oil on something that I'm about to cook Wagyu over, but here I'm gonna do it just because we're using a salt block and I wanna keep this baby nice and lubed up. No. My buddy Ben then came back and explained where they get all of their amazing Wagyu. We had two different kind of Wagyu. First one, we get our work delivered from Japan by weekly. This one is really wonderful from Japan. You gotta, we call it A5 Wagyu. We only use the Miyazaki, that brand. Second one, we have our own farmer by weekly as well. You're the first restaurant in the US to have your own farmer dedicated to the Wagyu yes. that you have here. They are on the free rent and they listen to music, drink some milk. Drink some milk, maybe some sake. It is, yeah. We, right. we, we add us a little bit of beer though, you know. <laughs> to finish things out, our friend robot peanut brought us a final course of Wagyu fried rice. It was topped with a raw egg and Ben challenged me to try to pick it up with chopsticks. You think I can do it or no, Ben? I cannot do it at all. <laughs> no? Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ben, I was close that time. Yeah, it was really close. Cool. Sadly, I failed. As we prepared to leave, Tiger returned and did a face-changing ritual. Oh, oh. Hey, how did you do that? It's mass pains again. I don't have any more together. How's that, Tiger? What is that? How do you do that? <laughs> Manny, I'm gonna be totally honest here. Tiger, that guy, left me speechless. Not once, but twice now. I don't know how, I mean, I, I don't have a comment. So we just had a full Wagyu dinner catered by robots. And not only did we taste raw Wagyu for the first time ever, which we all have to agree is a shocker given how much we eat, but we probably ate more Wagyu than we've ever had in one city. Giant thanks to all the staff and specifically all the robots that helped us tonight. Happy cooking.